Good morning, Bradley Charbonneau here again from Lycoma, and we're continuing on the uh, move the WordPress site from one host to another series of help videos here. So I have all of the files back uh, downloaded I need. They are right here. Just uh, this is the backup of the files. This is the zipped database. Now I'm going and I have the IP addresses here. This is the old IP address where the site was, where it still is, johnlikes.com. Now I have just set up a new hosting account for johnlikes.com and this is the IP address I was given. Now I need to know this because I can't use johnlikes.com that's still pointing to the old host. So I need to use this IP address to get into the cPanel of the new host. So let's go do that. I'm going to copy that I'm going to go over to uh, my browser. And this is a nice trick here. I can type in colon 2082, or I can type in cPanel, but I just know it's, t uh, what's that called? Port 2082. So I did the new IP address and then uh, 2082, and that's going to bring me to cPanel. So here you see it changes to cPanel. And before I started, I logged in because you can see here we're already at John Likes. So I used the new hosting account login information and password to log into the cPanel that is ready for JohnLikes.com, but of course it's not really JohnLikes.com yet because the domain is not pointing here yet. But that's okay. We're going to upload all the files and be ready to change the domain in the next step. So we saw in the last step I downloaded these two files. So I'm going to I'm going to now back up. I'm going to restore the database. So I go I go to backups even though we're restoring. And I'm going to first go to the SQL database just because it's smaller and I'm going to pause on the next one. So I'm going to browse for it and find it and it's not I need to go let me see browse. There we go. So here is the um, zipped WordPress database. I'm going to then upload that. And it's pretty small, so it shouldn't take too long. And there we go. So restoring database. Now you do need to see that this all this all happens here. So you'll get this this page, and you want to make sure it's done in the bottom left. And that should then give us a database. Let's go look over at our SQL databases. And there it is, John Lai WP. Um, it says zero megabytes. I think that's inaccurate. However, we don't have a user. It doesn't give us the user. So I'm going to go add a user here. Uh, I know I'm not supposed to do that, but I like the admin. And I'm going to make a. I'm going to make a password that's not real because it's going to show it in the next screen. So I'm going to create a user. And I <laughs> see there it is. So I there's my new user, John Lai admin with password not real. Then I can go back. This is an important point to remember. I need to add that user to the database. Currently there's a database and there's a user, but they're not connected to each other. So I'm going to add that user to the database, give them all privileges so it can do everything it needs to do, and make changes. There we go. So now we have the John Lai, John Likes database set up. There it is. And we have the user, and that user is connected to the database. So that's all set. So now I need to go back and upload those files. I go back to backups. Then I'm going to go restore a home directory backup. So here it is, and it's 27 megabytes. So I'm going to let it do, it, let it do its thing. I'll pause this, and I'll come back. However, one thing I can do in the meantime, I pretty much only use now, I can let this go because it's going in this other screen, I pretty much only use Google Apps for email. Uh, so what I want to do here is let's go make sure that the mail, this is a little confusing, and uh, that the mail locally at johnlikes.com does not try to go to this cPanel John Likes mail. So I want to tell it, nope, John Likes mail is really over at Google. So I this is the 
uh, MX record, the basic MX record I want to use for johnlikes.com so it knows don't use this email use johnlikes.com is using Google Apps Mail so that's all you need to do right here there is another bit of a setup for MX records over at the domain registrar but I'm gonna get to that in another video so uh, I'm gonna pause it again because I'm over here waiting for the files to come up and uh, I'll be right back okay we're back and as we see here this page turned into a super long uh, overview of what got restored so if I go over here to the file manager and reload I should see all the files there they are so now in theory I could go to this domain backslash squiggly thing John Lai and it should sort of work ish okay that's good so at least we see WordPress is installed it doesn't find the file but because we're not on the domain yet but um, it's there we can see that the the files worked the database is installed we didn't get a database error we just got sort of a it's in the wrong place error so we're all set so now we've restored the files and we have restored the database database is there we added the admin I went back and changed the password to the correct password which matched the password on the old hosting so I don't have to change anything anywhere files are uploaded database is re-uploaded we see we have disk base usage is back to sort of what it was we're at the domain uh, we're at the domain but really we're still at the IP address and so all we need to do now is go into the domain registrar and change where the IP address points which I'll do in the next video. Thanks. Bye.